in this month's threat briefing, endemic ransomware and the biggest data breach to date. We're starting with the big news. In what looks like the biggest data breach to date, the Shanghai National Police database was leaked, and with it, the loss of billions of Chinese citizens' personal data. It looks like the police database was sitting entirely unsecured on a cloud server. With no password required, hackers simply swooped in and stole the data. And now it's up for sale for 10 Bitcoin. This is a story we hear all too often, unsecured cloud services, but it is preventable. Following documented security standards for commissioning new services should have stopped this from happening in the first place. And a penetration test, just like those from defense.com, would probably have picked it up, even if it managed to slip through the net. As another North Korean ransomware group pops up, this time called Holy Ghost, and targeting small to medium-sized businesses, it seems that ransomware is just endemic to the internet. But just because it's always there doesn't mean businesses can get complacent about it. Money is the usual motivation for ransomware attacks, no surprises there, but don't think that you can buy your way out of trouble, as often the decryption keys the cyber criminals give you just don't work. You need to cover the security basics to stay ahead of this threat. As well as penetration tests mentioned before, running regular vulnerability scans will help you find the common security flaws that often act as the foot in the door for ransomware attacks. Having a security trained workforce is likewise helpful for blocking attacks before they start. These cyber defenses, as always, are available for use in defense.com. For more information on how to manage threats facing your business, get in touch with defense.com.